Hi friends, it's Alyssa and in today's video I'm going to be sharing four super easy and delicious sheet pan meals with you. These are great meals to turn to when you're short on time and you want something that can be thrown together quickly and easily and also offers super simple cleanup. What's better than that? So I hope these recipes offer you some meal inspiration and give you a little bit of help to find something new to feed your family. Everything will be listed in the description box for you. Okay, so the first sheet pan meal that we're gonna be starting off with is going to be sheet pan chicken fajitas. These are so easy and so good. So here's everything you're going to need for this meal. You're gonna need some chicken breast, some bell peppers, any colors will do. I did two of them, one lime, some sliced mushroom, some cilantro and onion, some minced garlic, and then for our seasoning, I'm gonna be doing chili powder, cumin, oregano, cayenne pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and then we're also gonna be using some salt and pepper to taste and then some olive oil. And then these are just a few items I have off on the side here to show you that I'm gonna be using when I dish up the fajitas. So I have some shredded cheese, I'm gonna make some guacamole, tortillas, and then sour cream. So the first thing we're gonna start off doing is making up the seasoning for the fajitas. So this is what I'm gonna be seasoning my chicken breast with. So I mixed up about a half a tablespoon of chili powder, half a tablespoon of cumin, one about half a tablespoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a tablespoon of onion powder, and then lastly I did about a half a tablespoon of garlic powder, and then I mixed that all up and then I just set it aside. Next I moved on to prep my chicken breast. So I have three chicken breasts here that I trimmed off some of the fat and then I am slicing these into medium to thin strips and then I'm gonna move on once I'm done, I'm gonna season these. So once the chicken breast was all sliced up into my strips, I added it into a gallon Ziploc bag and I added in a few tablespoons of olive oil and then I poured in all of that seasoning mixture that I had made and set aside. Um, I also added in about two tablespoons of minced garlic and then the juice of half of a lime and then I mixed that all around to coat the chicken really well and I set that aside to marinate for just a few while I got everything else prepped. Next, I made sure to get my oven on and preheating at 400 degrees so this can get hot while I get everything else ready. I then sprayed my large sheet pan with some olive oil spray and then I moved on to prep my veggies. So I sliced up my two bell peppers into strips and then I sliced my onion and then I added my veggies into the bag with the chicken and I also added in one cup of cleaned and sliced mushrooms and then I also added in a little bit more olive oil just to help coat the vegetables and then a pinch of salt and pepper just to taste, and then I mix that all up. I then poured this mixture right onto the pan, and then I decided that I wanted to squeeze the other half of the lime right on the chicken and the vegetables. I really love lime with my fajitas, the flavor of lime, so I wanted to add a little bit more, and then I also sprinkled a few tablespoons of some chopped up cilantro, and then I got this into my oven, and I set the timer to let it cook for 20 minutes. So once the 20 minutes was up, I mixed everything up and I just tried to flip the chicken breasts and the veggies around um, just so they can kind of crisp up on the other side and I got it back in my oven for five more minutes. So once it was all done, the house smelled so good. I set out some sliced limes to go with it, some shredded cheddar cheese, some sour cream and some homemade guacamole that I made and then some tortilla chips to go right along with that. I dished this up and I served it with some refried beans on the side as well. This dinner is always so easy. Sheet pan chicken fajitas is always a great dinner to turn to when you're looking for something quick and delicious. So the next sheet pan meal I have to share with you is one of my favorites and it's these delicious ranch pork chops with roasted potatoes and veggies. So here's everything you're going to need for this meal. You're going to need some boneless pork chops, about two to three cups of cubed potatoes. I had a mixture of red and russet potatoes cubed here. I just had those in my pantry that I wanted to use up so I just did a mixture. And for veggies you can go with whatever veggies you choose but I did sliced carrots and broccoli. And then for seasoning you're going to need oregano, ranch seasoning, smoked paprika, salt and pepper 
pepper and then olive oil and some Parmesan cheese as well. So the very first thing I did was get my oven on to start preheating at 400 degrees. I then got my large sheet pan and I sprayed it with some cooking spray. I put my pork chops on, my potatoes and my veggies right onto the pan and I topped everything with a drizzle of olive oil and then I just rubbed that olive oil all over the veggies and potatoes and on both sides of the pork chops. Next, I moved on to make up my seasoning. So I got a small bowl and I added in about two tablespoons of ranch seasoning, which is equivalent to just one of those ranch packets if that's what you have. I then added in one tablespoon of oregano and about one teaspoon of smoked paprika. And then I just did some salt and pepper to taste and I mixed that all up. I then took that seasoning right over to my sheet pan and I sprinkled it all over the pork chops, potatoes, and veggies. I then got this pan right into my oven and I let it cook for 30 minutes. So once it was all done, I topped everything with some Parmesan cheese, just a few tablespoons or so, and I got it back into my oven to sit under the broiler for just a few. I just wanted to melt the cheese down and to kind of help crisp up everything just a bit, so about five minutes or so. So here it is, crisp up, ready to go, hot right out of the oven. So this meal is so simple to make and easy and delicious. I always try to ask my daughter when I make dinner, how many thumbs up do you give this meal? And for this one, she said a million thumbs up. It must be the ranch seasoning. I don't know what it is. It's delicious. So it was a win for dinner tonight. So the next sheet pan dinner I have to share with you is this copycat recipe. Maybe you've seen it kind of going around on social media. It's from Giada on the Food Network and it's sheet pan lasagna. So easy. So here's everything you're going to need for this recipe. You're going to need a box of lasagna noodles. I only have these re oven ready ones, but I still ended up boiling them because that's what I needed to do for this recipe. One jar of marinara sauce, some Parmesan cheese, some minced garlic, some Italian seasoning, mozzarella cheese, an onion, ricotta cheese, and then some sausage. And also missing from this lineup is one egg that you're gonna need. So first I got my oven on to preheat at 425 degrees. And then I got a large pot of water onto my stove top that I added in a generous amount of salt to, to get that heated up for my lasagna noodles. So next I took those lasagna noodles that I had and I broke them all into pieces. You just wanna do medium to small size pieces and then I set that aside. So if you have a large family, you can most definitely do the large sheet pan for this, but I knew that we wouldn't eat all of that because there's just the four of us. There's my husband and I and then our two little girls, so I didn't want to waste the food. So I cut this in half and I made a smaller pan for dinner this night and I got a disposable pan that I had and I put the other half of this into it and I froze that for dinner for another night. So I got my pan sprayed with some vegetable oil and I moved on to prep my sauce. So I got a large pan over medium to high heat and I added in some olive oil and then I got the pack of sausage that so was about 16 ounces of sausage into the pan and I broke that all up. I, my water also started boiling so I added in my broken up lasagna noodles to get that cooking. And I also want to point out that you want to make sure to not dump your pasta water once your noodles are cooking because you're going to be wanting to reserve some of that for the sauce. So once my sausage was brown I added in half of a diced onion as well as two tablespoons of minced garlic and about two teaspoons of Italian seasoning and then some salt and pepper to taste. While that was cooking down I moved on to make my cheese sauce. So I got a medium sized bowl and I added in uh, one 15 ounce container of ricotta cheese to it and to that I added in a few teaspoons of Italian seasoning, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese and one egg and I mixed that all up and set it aside. I then added in one jar of marinara sauce. You can 
can go with whatever flavor you like and one cup of shredded mozzarella cheese and a half a cup of Parmesan cheese I also added in a little bit of pasta water it's all on preference but I probably added in about three quarters of a cup to one cup of pasta water and then I just mix it all up and I let the cheese melt down I then poured the sauce into my drained noodles and I mixed that all up really well. I then moved on and I took this mixture and poured it into my two pans. I just split it up evenly between the both of them. If you're just doing one large sheet pan, then you would just pour the whole mixture onto that. I then just smooth this out evenly onto each of the pans and then once I was done with that I topped it with the ricotta cheese mixture so this is super easy you just put dollops of this cheese mixture onto the lasagna so I did six total large dollops and then I kind of just smeared it on top once I was done I then put about a quarter of a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese and I sprinkled a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top so I just baked one of these pans in my oven for 25 minutes and then I just put foil on the other pan and I got that into my freezer for a future dinner. I love when I can do this. It's actually one of my favorite ways to meal prep and stock my freezer. When I have a dinner that can easily be increased and then split off into meals and then popped into my freezer, it's the best way to stock your freezer here and there in the easiest way possible. So here it is, once it was done, I just dished this up and I served it alongside some steamed green beans and then some garlic bread. I've made plenty of lasagnas in my life and this is by far the easiest way to make a delicious lasagna. My entire family loved it and I'm gonna keep this on rotation. So the last sheet pan meal I have to share with you is chicken sausage and pepper sandwiches that I served alongside some asparagus and some mini medley potatoes. So here's everything you're going to need for this dinner. You're going to need some chicken sausages. I just have some packs here I got from Trader Joe's, two bell peppers, some mushrooms, a red onion, some sandwich rolls, some minced garlic, Parmesan cheese mayonnaise and some asparagus and some mini medley potatoes which this part's completely optional you can throw in whatever vegetables you want so the first thing i did was get my oven to preheat at 425 degrees and then i got two bell peppers sliced so you can use any color you'd like i sliced up half of a red onion and then i got about two cups of sliced mushrooms washed and ready i then got my large sheet pan and i sprayed that with some cooking spray and i added all the veggies to the pan i then drizzled some olive oil onto the veggies and i tossed them all up and then i added about two to three tablespoons of some minced garlic to the veggies and some salt and pepper to taste and i tossed everything up up. Got my chicken sausage and I placed that right onto the veggies. I washed and cut up my asparagus and I got that onto the pan and I tossed it with some olive oil and then some salt and pepper to taste. So last minute, I just decided to add in some seasoning onto the asparagus. I thought garlic powder and some onion powder sounded good, so I just sprinkled a teaspoon of each, which is completely optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. And then I did move on and I washed and sliced my potatoes. And then once these were all sliced up, I'm gonna be adding them into a gallon size Ziploc bag, as you can see here. And I added in just a little bit of salt and pepper, maybe a teaspoon of each, and then about a tablespoon of some minced garlic. And then I also added in some olive oil and I tossed it all up before adding it onto my sheet pan. Once I added it onto my pan, I chopped the potatoes with a few tablespoons of some Parmesan cheese and then I mixed that all up as well. I then got this pan into my oven and I set the timer to cook for 25 minutes. So while it was cooking, I decided to make up a sriracha mayonnaise for my husband and I for our sandwiches rather than just doing plain mayonnaise, which is what I just did for my girls. So this is completely optional. Mayonnaise is still great with these sandwiches, but if you want a little bit of a kick, this is sauce is also a great option as well. So I just did about a third cup of mayonnaise in a small bowl and then I added in about one tablespoon or so of sriracha and then I mixed that all up. If you wanted a little bit spicier and a little extra kick add more sriracha 
So once everything was done, I dished it all up and I topped everything with a little sprinkle of Parmesan cheese. I just wanted to add a little bit more flavor, so this is completely optional. This dinner was so good. It's a little bit of a healthier option. It's super filling and of course, delicious. All right, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found a sheet pan meal you're looking forward to making. If you're not already, I would love to have you, so make sure to subscribe down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.